Алексей Махну и Раул Тутараули сейчас достаточно хорошо известны поклонникам боевого спорта. Оба были выходцами из кикбоксинга и прославились бескомпромиссными зрелищными боями на арене смешных единоборств. Грузинский ударник сделал себе именно турнир Хэмван Челлендж ACA, а сейчас успешно выступает сильнейшим европейским промоушене КСВ. За его плечами уже 32 победы в 40 профессиональных поединках, и 21 раз его соперники отправлялись в нокаут. Алексей Махно по прозвищу Атаман после окончания длительной карьеры в Иван Челлендж довольно успешно выступал в промоушене Fight Nights, а сейчас испытывает свои силы в поп ММА. На его счету уже также более 30 профессиональных поединков, и он всегда отличался желанием рубиться с любым оппонентом, за что его и полюбили болельщики. Сегодня же мы отправимся аж в 2015 год на турнир Evan Challenge 63, когда пути этих двух ярких бойцов пересеклись в рейджи. На тот момент это были два молодых, но при этом уже титулованных бойца, очень хорошо умеющих отправлять своих соперников на каут. Каждый шел на длительной победной серии, и в случае нового успеха мог стать главным претендентом на титул чемпиона Evan Challenge. Зрители ожидала зубодровительная схватка двух нокаутеров, обладавших как отличной ударной техникой, так и настоящим бойцовским характером. M1 Global presents... Весна вместе с настоящим отечественным брендом Великорос. В магазине появились новинки для теплого сезона. Практичные комфортные олимпийки толстовки из стопроцентного хлопкового футера станут превосходной альтернативой куртки в прохладную погоду. Невозможно представить грядущее лето без трендовой коллекции Великорос – это фантастика. Футболки лонгсливы сшиты из премиального мягкого хлопкового трикотажа и украшены эксклюзивными модными принтами от ведущих петербургских дизайнеров. И, наконец, очень важно иметь правильный головной убор. Бейсбол кассеткой комфортно сидит на голове, не позволяя ей перегреваться. В коллекции с размеры от 52 до 63. Огромное количество дизайнов и ярких расцветок, которые подойдут для всех членов семьи. В магазине Великорос есть много и других великолепных вещей. Переходите по ссылке в описании и получайте скидку по промокоду М1. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 22 years old. He weighed in at 70.3 kilograms. He stands 170 centimeters tall and has a record of five wins with two losses. He is the national MMA champion, world MMA championship medalist, and world kickboxing champion from Georgia, Raul Tutorari. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 25 years old. He weighed in at 70.3 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 10 wins and only three losses. He is master of sport in kickboxing, master of sport in boxing, master of sport in complex fighting, silver medalist of world kickboxing and vice champion of Moscow prank creation. Ladies and gentlemen, from Moscow, Russia, Alexei Makhno. Your referee for this bout, Viktor Korniev. Парни, слушай внимательно, работаем. Три раунда по пять минут. Еще раз напоминаю, головой не бьем. По затылку, позвоночнику бить нельзя. Локтем бьем только в корпус, по ногам. В партере работаем коленом и ногами только по корпусу. Канаты, шорты, перчатки не хватаем. Слушай меня на протяжении всего боя. Пожай руки. Хорошо, по углам. Судья готов? Судья готов? Чуть -чуть. Время. Готов, боец? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our ninth fight of the evening in the blue corner, Raul Tuturali, and in the red corner, Alexei Makhno. Well, Makhno fires off pretty quick, comes out strong. Raul retaliates back. Both these guys are known as being very exciting fighters under the M1 banner. Both have had very good fights on their record, under this promotion's uh, banner. And it's unlikely that they will disappoint here tonight. Well, going in the leather, but then taking a single. Oh, single with left hands. Tuta Aluli going for the takedown. Very aggressive start. Relentless on that single. That's his trademark style and approach early in a fight. He's on a four-fight win streak, two of them with M1. He's coming off three consecutive TKO victories. 
Well, there we have those ropes taking advantage again for the guy who's trying to defend the takedown. We're really seeing that on display today, and like a lot of grabbing onto the side of the cage or the ropes and stay, stay standing. Oh, he's aggressive, very aggressive, like a pit bull. Again, grabbing that single. Should be noted, Mahno's quite a slow starter. He usually gets quite beat up and battered early in the fight before he comes back and surprisingly turns things around. Let's see if he can do that once more here again. Well, to the rally, he's attempted to take down about four or five times. You know, just how big his gas tank because it does take a lot out of you. Great Certainly defense still by Mahno. Well, to the rally, decides to leave the leg. Now going for body lock. Well, great defense by Magno, All, albeit losing his round thus far because of the shots he's taken. Needs to get his back off the ropes. Trying to retaliate with some strikes with the knees. He's been in similar positions before. Back at M1 Challenge 56, he did. He came. He like managed to secure a come from behind victory in the third round, late in the third round of the fight as well. It wasn't even early. It was late in the third round. So just a massive roar from the crowd. It's just one of those things. He's one of those fighters who takes him a while to get into the fight, and somehow he always manages to pull it off. Well, Raul, Tito Raul in control, up against the rage right now. Field a couple of single leg takedowns, quite happy to just keep the body lock. Throw some shots, throw some knees, still scoring on the scorecards. Magno needs to move his back off the rage, he needs to circle out. The short, stocky, low center of gravity of Tuta Rauli. There we go, he's moved, that's what he needs to do. But how much will this disheart in Tuta Rauli? Be very interesting to see here. Should be noted, Ian, this is a lightweight contender fight to determine who will face the lightweight champion next. So both fighters should be a lot extra motivated. Yeah, exactly. There should be a little bit of extra motivation. We should see a sense of urgency here, but at the same time, they're going to be cautious to make sure that after after such a great build-up and consecutive win streak here that they don't ruin it because they're a little too anxious or angsty here or in a rush to finish things or to be emphatic or secure a really impressive victory. It's all about getting the win in the end. Well, again, Tuto Rauli, strong, aggressive, overhand, big punches, shooting for the single. Still hasn't managed to run the pipe and get him down, though. Again, dropping low. He finally gets it, but look how quick he gets back to his knees. Takes a knee on the way up. There's a big shot. You know what, Tudor Rowley, I think he's going to burn himself out if he keeps this going. So he was just swinging there. Shot after shot. Most of them missed, too. When the uncontrollable shots like that, that's when you know somebody's gas tank is going to wear out. You know, they weren't the hard shots, clean, precise, cool, collected. They were just swinging. Look, he's backing off now. He looks tired already. He's Tudor opening Rauli. his mouth, yep. Not breathing correctly as he's throwing those punches. Now his turn to be on the back. But he sprawls down nicely. Got to give him his credit to that. And if he gets taken down here, oh, yes, he does with a few seconds left to go. Now that has to be disheartening. After working so... Oh, big right hand by Magno. It's him that gets more aggressive. He closed the distance for this takedown. But Tudor Raul is shooting again for that single. This is starting to look like a typical Alexei Magno fight. Starts off slow, gradually starts to find his game. Gets a little bit more aggressive as the fight goes on. Great defense by Magno. He's taking some serious shots. Shot. Some serious shots. He's wobbly. He's wobbly now. Swinging for the fences, but it's just got to connect. Tutoroli smells blood now. Do you know what? He's, I think he's done the wrong thing by going for that single. He so was now. wobbled. He should have just tried to finish him with punches. 
Very aggressive. He's stalking him now. And they're just throwing bombs now. I'm not sure if Magno is wobbling or whether he's just losing his balance with the shots. Shaking out the arms. It's difficult to tell, but just based on the few fights I've called for him, he's got quite the chin. Thought he was gassed. No way, bro. No way. What a finish. Thunderous shots to finish that fight. Well, sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, fighters rely on their chins too much, and although Alexi Machno had it for his six-fight win streak, including his... Well, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 30 seconds of round two, we have a winner by the way of knockout, Raul Tuturauli!